Hi guys, welcome back to the channel once again. It's your girl, the African Barami, the Melani Princess, the Baby Leah. If this is your first time stumbling on my channel and coming across my gorgeous, melanated, beautiful face, you're welcome. I do hope you decide to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button just right below this video right there and then hit the notification bell right beside it. That way YouTube is going to let you guys know whenever I have a new video. And if you are a returning subscriber, you guys know that I love you, you know that you're the real MVP, welcome back. So today's video is going to be me talking about online dating. I'm going to be sharing tips for people going, you know, for online dating, especially women. Because I noticed my last video where I talked about online dating is doing really well. So I was like, okay, if you guys are interested in that topic, let me talk more about it. If you're considering trying out online dating, these are tips. This is definitely a video you want to watch, okay? So while talking about this, I'm going to be doing my makeup. And the makeup that I've chosen to do today is going to be something that I would wear on like a first date with someone I met through online dating, okay? So that I know that I look like the person they saw in my profile and i don't want to come out overdone so let's just get right into the video oh so fabulous <laughs> So guys, to begin, I'm going to be hydrating and moisturizing my face using this. This is the 24K Golden Ampoule Gold Leaf. I don't even know what that word means. I'm going to be using this to hydrate my face. It looks so good. I've been wanting to try this for a while. I got it in PR like a long time ago. I don't know why I've not used it. So then to prime my face, I'll be using this Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer. It's very good if you have like large pores. This is what you need to get. And then I'm going to be using my Juvia's Place Foundation. This is the shade angola 140 i treasure this thing guys so to begin let's talk about online dating like the way people view online dating i know even i like i'm guilty of this as well people view online dating as something shameful like there's a stigma attached to online dating that we all know especially in this part of the world where i'm from in nigeria you know people feel like <laughs> it's a hush hush thing like if you're online dating you don't want people to know because it's shameful like how can you go looking for love online maybe you have failed looking for love in the real world and now you have to go on on the internet and advertise yourself to total strangers and tell them like how desperate you are to look to find a partner and stuff like that so there's a stigma attached to that and i also feel like the stigma another stigma is also because a lot of people have gone online looking for like soliciting sexual favors sex you know so i think that's another stereotype that comes i mean to this very day i still have like indian guys in my dm on facebook <laughs> random indian guys calling me on whatsapp i don't even know how that those guys do that like obviously those people are very smart especially in tech and all of that but why don't they put it to better use i would never understand anyway the point i'm trying to make is people just see online i think especially like maybe in the older generation and all that they feel like that's when people go to look for like sex with strangers and all of that so i think maybe that's where the stigma started from speaking of which like in their generation i realized that things were very different let me tell you guys a little story i remember when i wanted to go out then when my parents were still with us god rest their soul okay i remember telling my mom one time like that i wanted to go to the cinema to, to see a movie and she had this shocked look on her face like you are going yeah Plus typical, typical African mother, and I'm like, I'm going to the cinema to go and see a movie. She was like, what? So you, at just your age, you're going to see a movie? Like, she, she was not having it. She was shocked. She was disappointed. She was angry. She was shouting at me, and she was scolding me. And in my mind, I'm like, I'm just going to the cinema to see a movie. I didn't understand. She actually reported me to my dad, like, come and see what your daughter is saying. She wants to go to the cinema to see a movie. My mother was like, do you know what they do in the cinema? I didn't understand until I actually ended up speaking to someone else. And the person was like, oh, the thing was that in their time, that's my mom, when obviously when she was younger, cinemas were known to be places where people go to go and watch P-U-R-N, okay? That was what they used to do in the cinema then. So I think she still had that impression that that's what I was going to do. But she didn't know like, like the modern day kind of cinema that we go to go and, you know, view movies there. So in essence, I'm trying to say that things change, you know, things have changed with different generations. In our generation now, people are on social media more, like we do businesses online, we make friends online. 
we get a lot of opportunities online so why not find love online that is just i'm just trying to cancel out any doubts or stereotypes any or shame anybody might feel about online dating it's not that big of a deal okay there are a lot of people that have met their their life partners online and it has worked out so just cancel out that stereotype and if you're considering online dating you go in with an open mind and you might just be lucky who knows you guys this foundation is amazing i love it so i'm going to be using this zikel second skin concealer and this is the shade golden beige i think this thing is really light but we can make it work so yes even i had to change my orientation about online dating i had to tell myself that it's not a big deal and funny enough when i even joined the whole online dating i found a lot of people that i know on the app so i'm like oh everybody is low-key doing this thing so that's just how it is now so just in case you were considering it keep an open mind and go for it okay so now let me go right into talking about the p the tips on that i want to share about online dating number one is pick your apps wisely you know do some research about the apps there are a ton of them there's bumble there's tinder there's okay cupid there's just a lot i don't know a lot of them because i'm just on one so do your research and then some of these um online apps of course they have different modes of operation like i know that in some of them the girls have to move make the first move while in some of them the guys can make the first move i just i think it just works differently so try and find which one suits you best and i would advise that if you're really like interested in finding someone online maybe you should spread your net so don't just restrict yourself to one app do your research and pick an app like specifically i can talk about tinder i've heard so much about tinder i'm not even on tinder but i've heard people talk about how it's a hookup side like it's mostly people that want hook up and by hook up i mean like people just want to meet up and have casual sex you know probably maybe in exchange for money or whatever i think that's just the reputation thing that has correct me if i'm wrong but yeah so it's good for you to research the app and know what it is you're going there to look for and if that app agrees with what you're comfortable with you guys i am glowing i am glowing Ooh. so i'm setting my face using this blossom setting powder this is the shade not make and it's a dark shade if you watch me my channel regularly you know that i love this and i don't joke with it so the second thing i would say is that you should be honest in your profile okay try not to lie try to be you know um truthful about what it is you're looking for and about yourself you don't have to share too much information to be honest okay don't lie tell you about the important things in your bio keep it simple keep it real keep it honest you know let them know the kind of person you are i actually lied in my bio <laughs> i said that in my last video i lied about my age which i eventually wanted to change but i couldn't because once you put in your age is locked but the reason i did that was because i just felt like i didn't know how many men on there were looking for people my age okay because i'm in my 30s and i know there's a stereotype with you know women's ages and that was just my thought process dude so try as much as you can to be truthful in your bio and try to watch it about yourself you know don't deceive people and then don't give a false impression about yourself and then also be straightforward about what it is you're looking for if you have children put it there if you've been married before i don't know if apps give provision for that but even if there's no provision for that for you to put that in your bio when you start talking to the person you need to let the person know i would advise that it's not everything you you tell the person over the phone do i feel like there's some things you leave for the first date and then you tell them when you feel like okay this might be going somewhere so it's time to do my brows then the third tip, tip i want to share is to um, pick pictures that put your best foot forward so you want to be conscious of the kind of pictures that you put um i advise that you put like a mixture of portrait photos like just maybe like you know that show your face a nice smile um and then pictures that show like your full body nice background take clear pictures probably taken in daylight and all of that and i personally would say that um when it comes to makeup and the way you present yourself all your pictures should not have a lot of makeup of course you can have pictures of you glammed up but let it not be like all your pictures you have full glam eyelashes smoky eye red lipstick you understand mix it up a little bit mix the toned down you and the glam you so that they don't build a false expectation or false impression of you you don't need something maybe showing too much skin and all of that so that you don't attract the wrong kind of guy you guys let me conceal my brows i'll be right back so i'm done with my brows let me just prime my eyes another thing to be conscious of when you're choosing pictures is 
public pictures that are like a show or for instance maybe a picture where you're showing your very expensive phone or your very expensive designer handbag you're not going to have a guy that's going to be like oh hmm, this girl has a lot of money let me swipe and see what i can get out of her because believe me not everybody that is there has genuine intentions and then maybe you take pictures only in like hotels <laughs> you know you have pictures of you where you're in this hotel this hotel this expensive joint i've actually seen a friend of mine online a guy not online dating or just on regular instagram and then he came across a girl's instagram page and he liked her but when he went to her instagram page and he was swiping through her pictures he saw that she was always taking pictures maybe like a young girl either she's on an airplane like flying somewhere or she's in an expensive hotel you know those you know you're in an ex the bathroom of an expensive restaurant you know pictures like that and he was like mm, she's a runs babe do you understand so those kind of pictures can easily allow people stereotype you even wrongly you understand so you don't want pictures that show you in a certain light or could end up attracting the wrong kind of person so i'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette today this is the warrior 2 palette by juvia's look at it this used to be a very black shade it kind of broke off ah i was so sad when it did because that's like the blackest black eyeshadow i've ever owned this is my favorite eyeshadow palette then another thing is to write a good bio if you're a smart and witty person let that show in your bio like my bio i even put a little bit of humor in my bio i i think maybe i'm gonna put my bio for you guys to see <laughs> so i talked about how you know i can't believe i'm online looking for love da, da 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 and i talked a bit about myself i talked about my zodiac sign i'm into zodiac signs guys and stuff like that so it's kind of like the way that i am i'm a little witty i'm a little funny i have a good sense of humor so i think from reading my bio you can already tell that that's the kind of person that i am stuff like that so you should tell them enough to get them interested and to know a bit about you but don't overshare in your bio okay so now when you guys have swiped on each other and it's time for conversations and all that i think this is the interesting part i would advise that you make your conversations short and snappy and engaging now what do i mean by short i mean like you should not go and be writing like three paragraphs in one reply the person asks you how are you and then you're talking about your, your day like in detail whining about uh, how the traffic was bad and how uh, maybe your co-worker upset you that day and all of that come on nobody wants to come and be your therapist therapist and listen to you whine about how miserable your life is or whatever and they don't even need some of that detail especially when you guys don't really know each other yet you've not even met up and everything so let the conversation be short and engaging and snappy you know, just keep it fresh keep it lively so i just use this shade the next shade i'll be using is this one i think i'm going to be using this as well just maybe a soft smoky let's just do it so another thing is don't get desperate for quick replies see people have lives and again some people just have that air of mystery and another thing you should notice that you're not the only person they are talking to even when you like the person if the person takes a few hours to respond just return that energy don't paint yourself looking desperate or maybe when they now finally message you you'll be like oh you abandoned me or why didn't i hear from you and all of that stuff like for me now if you are you know taking your time to reply me all the time like you don't just do it once or twice like i notice it's a pattern or maybe you ask for my number i give you and then you don't call or you take like two weeks before you now call me or text me on whatsapp or whatever i just take it that to mean that maybe your level of interest in me is not high and there's no it's not a big deal i just keep it moving and i'll also return the same energy to you so it's very important for you to weigh the level of interest a man has in you before you begin to show your own interest also i would say that you should not reveal your feelings too early don't be too you know don't be in a hurry to put all your cards on the table especially when you have not even met this person physically so then i would advise that you wait for at least a week of constant talking to this person before you guys have your meetup take your time and build that um, interest and you know weigh them see the kind of person they are from your conversation see how level how interested they are in you by you know the how dedicated they are to chatting you up and stuff like that i do not actually advise you start chatting with the person today and then tomorrow you have you know met up with that person on a date even though i actually did that once and i regretted it okay i did that with one guy that i met online i told the story in my video i think i'm just going to be putting the picture so you guys can go and check out that video after you watch this i'll also put the links to the two videos on online dating previous videos that i made in the comment section go and check it out guys so you guys i'm going to be lining my eyes using this beyond beauty gel liner 
So another thing I want to say is that you should be patient. Don't get obsessed with online dating. Oh, has he texted me? Oh, who has swiped on me? Da 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 da. Mm -mm. Don't go there looking desperate. It's not a good look. Like if you chat with someone and it's not working out, fine. You will meet another person. So guys, I'm just gonna do my lashes and I'll be right back. So you guys, I'm done with my lashes. The mascara that I use is from Maybelline. This is the, the Magnum Barbie Maybelline New York mascara. And I'm going to be using their Colossal Kajal pencil as well. Maybelline as well. Okay, so you guys, just bear in mind that finding love takes time, both in the real world and online. So you're going to meet a lot of people that, you know, will not end up being what you're looking for, but that, does, that shouldn't discourage you. Then another thing I will tell you is that you should save the interesting conversations for the real life date. Like it's not, I feel like if you guys already talk about everything, then the day you guys actual, actually meet, there is no sense of excitement because there is nothing to really talk about. There are some conversations that you just have just better had face to face. So leave those conversations for when you guys go on a date. So I'm going to be using this powder by Peace Beauty. For the highlighted areas then i have another powder that i'll use for the rest of my face as i usually do so one thing that i'm going to say is not really a dating tip per se but it's just something to help you be in the right state of mind when you do online dating is that it's not urgent for everybody some people are there believe me there are people that are married that are there they just want to play around <laughs> or maybe they're looking for a side piece whatever their reason is there are also some people that are in relationships that are there maybe they are looking for the next relationship they're going to go to so that they can now break up and there are some people that they are just there for fun what i'm saying in essence is that it's not urgent for everybody so some people will not treat you like you know you're that important they may not give you that attention or dedication in communicating with you as you might be expecting they may not even be in a hurry to ask you on a date probably because they even have another person that they are chatting with and maybe they prefer that person so you have to bear that in mind and you should be able to like decipher when that is the case let me give you guys a little story so the other day i was hanging out with my girlfriend at an outdoor bar and i got there before her like say 15 minutes early earlier than she came you understand and i ordered a drink so while i was just sitting down drinking i noticed that there was there were some guys looking at me and then i was not surprised when this particular guy walked up to me so you know, he asked me oh hi my name is so 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 and so i see you're sitting alone there uh, what's going on i said oh i'm expecting a friend i'm using a powder palette for the rest of my face guys i cannot show you because some of the powder bits are broken but it's from royal makeup so i told this guy that i was expecting my girlfriend and she was like 15 minutes away and he was like oh please that do you mind if he just keeps me company while i'm waiting and i'm like okay i don't mind it's fine so you know we sat down together we started talking he actually he was a gentleman my friend ended up coming and joining us because by then she, i asked her if she wanted to move and she was like she didn't mind so he ended up even paying <laughs> he ended up even paying for our drinks and stuff like it was so nice of him we wanted to pay but he insisted and i'm like oh fine i'm good it wasn't an official date but it ended up being kind of like a hangout with three of us and then he ex we exchanged numbers the conversation was good he was that kind of person that if he had asked to see me again i would have i wouldn't have objected so it was nice but then the funny thing is, after that day, after we had exchanged numbers and all of that, he never called me again. Don't worry, I'm getting to the part of the story where you guys won't, won't be you know, as confused as I am. He never called me again to see me. He used to chat, but you know when a guy is not really like intentional about communicating with you? It took him like two days after we met to message me and then he's like, oh sorry, it's about work. He closes late. He has to drive a long way after work, this and that and this and that. And then he just, he's like, oh, okay, maybe by the weekend I'll be free. I'll you can see during the weekend and then the weekend comes and i don't hear from him and then he shows up again like two days after and he's like oh sorry you didn't hear from me and you know i was just, I just like okay this person obviously is not serious then guess what on the dating app that, that i'm on you know i was just swiping and then i saw his profile and i'm like okay so you're on a dating app so you want to meet someone so you very likely might have swiped on me if you came across my profile. So, but you not met me physically. You basically had an idea of who I am and everything. He told me, like, he told me a lot about himself, his family. So I think we had a chemistry. He was all over me, the way he was staring and all of that. So I knew, I really was expecting that he was going to ask to see me after that. You understand? But he did it. And I saw that this person was on a dating app. For him to be on a dating app, he's looking to meet someone, right? But then you met me and then you didn't follow up on it. So I was like, two things are involved. Maybe he already has somebody and he's just there for fun or it's not urgent for him. Or maybe 
which I doubt. Maybe he just did not like me because well, the vibe he gave me was totally different when we were meeting. But I know that that's definitely a possibility. So I just want to put that out there so that you guys know that um, it's not the same for everybody. There's not going to be that urgency. Maybe some of them even have someone in the whole relationship, or you're not even what they're looking for at the moment. So don't be hurt by when someone shows interest and then it doesn't lead to anything. You know, people you meet on the dating app. I just have to state that. I'm contouring my nose. I'm going to be using this shade as blush i really like it i realize orange is beautiful on dark skin as blush so another thing i want to say is that when you guys are meeting up you know on a date please try and meet on your own turf if he's a real gentleman he would not mind you picking where you guys meet and he won't mind coming all the way even if it's far from, from him okay and if you actually really want to be nice and considerate i don't think you should put your safety at risk just because you want to be nice girl. or you can actually do it such a way that you meet halfway but try not to go all the way to his own turf do not go to no strange man's house on a first date that you met online believe me it doesn't end well a lot of the time don't try it meet in a public place i would suggest a bar somewhere where there are people that it is crowded that it there are people <laughs> and um i don't know if you're going if you're going to drive there if you're going to use an uber whichever way you get there make sure that when you're leaving you do it in such a way that you're not being followed because they are creeps i just need to state that so you have to be security conscious if you get to pick the place pick somewhere that you're used to going where maybe the staff even know you so that you can have people looking out for you like oh is she all right is he creeping her out you know then if you can't do that maybe you should go with a friend but the friend should sit like a distance away so that he doesn't even know that you guys came together and just the person just looks out for you and all of that but i don't think it should be that bad i feel like you should be able to go by yourself if you're observing safety measures but if you feel like the person creeps you out to the extent that you have to go with a friend maybe you shouldn't even be meeting such a person for a date in the first place so i want to blow up my face and i'm using the glitz and glam beauty world a highlighter palette look at that different shades let me do it in such a way that you guys can see another thing that i like to say is that you should be open-minded you know yes we all have types we all have like in our mind some qualities that we're looking for and everything but sometimes they are like some diamonds in the rough what i mean is you might see a guy he's not too flashy he just looks like a regular guy and everything and that guy may turn out to be the best man for you do you understand so sometimes just keep an open mind don't judge people based off of the way they look because maybe you want him he must be in a suit and tie he must you know, have maybe from his pictures he must be posing in you know like um in front of an expensive car or he must always be in an expensive looking restaurant in the pictures and all of that he must be of a certain height if not you're not even going to swipe he must be or he must look like there's a washington if not you're going to you're not going to swipe don't restrict yourself to that that's all i'm saying so keep an open mind um at, at the end of the day what are the core values if you're looking for a man you definitely want someone who is dependable someone you can build a life with someone that can be a good father a good husband a, pro a provider a protector someone that shares the same values as you so don't restrict yourself to some things i'm actually saying this because i know that a lot of women are attracted to flashy things like for instance maybe you look at him and there's a picture of him he's on a flight the next picture is a picture of him in one foreign location wearing a suit and drinking one expensive drink with white people in the background i'm talking to my nigerian girls right now so this um lip glosses that i'm using is from Zikel. Zikel's collaboration with Brega, a very popular talented Nigerian makeup artist. I know her, I like her. So don't be attracted to just the flashy types, okay? There are some guys that you just see them put up genuine pictures. Maybe you might see a guy maybe at his office desk. I even prefer such pictures because at, at the end of the day, I'm like, okay, he has a job, he looks responsible. Maybe he's in the corporate world. And I feel like, okay, at least I know he has a source of livelihood. I know that he's not maybe one Yahoo boy that wants to use me and do ritual. <laughs> do you understand? So look for the pictures that even tell a story. The pictures that even give you an idea of who they are. There's one tip that has worked for me that I use. You know, I look at their eyes. I check if you have like a, a if you have like a portrait picture, I look into your eyes. <laughs> I think I'm just, I think I'm an intuitive person naturally. So there's some guys that when I just look at their pictures, especially the portrait ones, I feel like, oh, this person looks like someone that 
has sense or he looks like someone that is genuine there's a genuineness to this person and i swipe so time for the lip gloss i'm actually excited to use this i don't know if the, it's going to pig, be pigmented like if it's going to come out orangey or golden you know, or if it's just a clear lip gloss because sometimes these lip glosses can be deceptive so oh fingers first this thing smells so good oh my god <gasps> pigment it has this bronzy golden orangey shade this is the shade mocha from the zikel and brega collection Woo! hello 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 mama <laughs> so i'm using this this is facial mist by kimani another thing i got gifted by the brand a while back so as i was saying don't get too carried away by the superficial okay really look at this person look at the genuineness in their eyes don't get carried away by if he's taking pictures in an airplane or abroad with white people in the background and stuff like that see if you've actually not watched tinder swindler just go right after watching this video go on netflix and look for tinder swindler it's not even a movie it's an actual actual documentary on real stories that happen to these women on dating apps that's that whole tinder swindler thing is an, a typical example of what you should not do when you're online dating okay like it was just crazy you guys Go and watch the Tinder Swindler. We all have to be careful out here. Don't get too carried away by flashy stuff. From my experience from online dating here in Nigeria, I find out that for every 10 African Nigerian black guys that I swipe on, I will see one person that's Caucasian or you know, basically not a black person. And I it just made me wonder like, are there this many non-Nigerians looking for love on a Nigerian dating app? Like, I had to ask myself that question. And I heard from someone experienced as well, and with my own common sense that these may not be real actual white people okay we are nigerians we know how it goes so don't get carried away by all of that just bear in mind that there could be scammers out there there are people that are using other people's pictures to front because they know that that is what you're going to like some people even put up a picture of them from five years ago ask for a recent picture let it not be a what you see and what you get kind of thing so um, i think i need to wrap up the video here so this is the makeup look that i would wear i'll wear something like this on the first date with someone that i'm meeting online it's not overly stated but it shows my natural beauty what do you guys think about this look To be sincere, I may even skip the lashes. I may even skip. I may not even do the lashes. I think it depends on what kind of date. Is it like a dinner date or is it like a daytime hangout? I think that would determine. You can switch up the lipstick if you want to something nude or matte. You can do without the eyeshadow. You can do without the lashes. It really depends on you. If you guys have any tips that you think I left out or you want to add, please do that in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see the first video, I'm going to link it in the comment section as well. And subscribe if you. Have have. Well, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share so that your friends can watch as well and i will see you guys in my next video bye